series cell. You want something that is isolated so that you don't have leakage currents from end to end as best as possible. That way you can get most efficiency out of it. Yes? You mentioned there were a couple of companies that, uh, that you might be able to endorse. Are there any of those that you could do publicly? Well, other than you know the uh, the company uh, pre combustion Technologies, which is a division of Pre-Melters, there's also uh, I'm sure a lot of people have heard of a hydrogen garage. Well, hydrogen junkie sells through hydrogen garage a product called the B3, and the B3 is a the B3 stands for Bob Boys Booster, obviously. Uh, he uh, he actually it's a low cost unit. It's designed for. Uh, smaller cars. It's it's not for you know bigger vehicles. You could put two of them, and it's a, in a vehicle. And from what I understand, that unit's limited to about 18 amps uh, rating because it's uh, made out of ABS plastic. But it was designed with low cost in mind, and it still has the uh, the efficiency of the series cell design. You just have to work with it. You know, put some sealer in there when you put the plates in. So he gives you all the information. He sells the kits. HydrogenGarage.com, and they also sell, the Hydrogen Garage sells other products too, as, as well as that. They also sell, they're a seller of the, or uh, dealer of the cell, uh, other systems. By the way, you know, the cell, uh, the company there, PTI, does not sell to the public directly. They only seal through the, sell through their, their dealer network. And uh, that's one of the reasons I, I came here today was to show the product and give people the opportunity if they want to become dealers, that they could actually contact PTI and, uh, and see if, if they want to be dealers. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't work for PTI, I'm not on the payroll. Um, it's just, uh, I like spending time there because like I said, I like helping people with questions, people that need answers. And I do a lot of that there, plus I'm allowed to do my research there. <laughs> yes. Sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide, if you're in a warm environment, potassium hydroxide is better. If you're in an environment where you're going to get cold, you're going to want to use sodium hydroxide. I know it sounds backwards because potassium hydroxide is good at, at 28, or actually 31%. It's good down to 60, minus 65C, um, whereas um, sodium hydroxide is only good down to zero Fahrenheit at uh, 23%. But what happens is uh, sodium hydroxide remains reactive over a greater temperature range. So therefore, when it gets cold, it still works. Whereas potassium hydroxide, as it gets cold, it loses reactivity. So you end up with yourself quitting working a long time before it gets cold enough to even freeze. Long before even the sodium hydroxide would freeze. So, so, and sodium hydroxide is a lot easier to get a hold of. I mean, you can get it in a lot of places. Yes? Yeah, it's going to break down. It's not going to remain. I mean, I look at it from the standpoint, we've got sodium hydroxide out there to work with. Why use anything else that's, you know, because most of these compounds people try, they actually break down and create byproducts and some of them you end up with sodium hydroxide anyways, you know, because of the, the reactions, you know, like, you know, people using, the, or, or they're using a, a potassium product, you know, with K, KOH, in the end, after it's finished reacting, like all the people that use baking soda, my God, you know, that was the big thing. Well, baking soda, sorry, it don't stay baking soda. When it reacts, it becomes sodium hydroxide. And during the meantime, you've got all that carbon coming out of there, and the carbon contamination, if you had a cell that, stood a chance of being decent and efficient, you just poison the nickel in that cell because nickel and carbon, they have an affinity for one another. And when they bond, you lose the catalytic tendencies of that nickel. So. <laughs> um, well, what do they sell it for? Drain cleaner, right? Okay. Just put it down the drain, flush it with some water. I mean, come on, <laughs> it's real, it's, it's, it's that, that basic. Uh,
okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, it works though, they're out there, right? No, that, that doesn't need a different mic. Oh, okay. That's a new mic. Okay. Now what happens? Okay, there it goes. Hey, it sounds like the AGC. <laughs> it doesn't have that. I turned all the reverb down. No, I was saying, it, it went, when you talked, it went to that mic, and then.